Hi guys, it's Nancy here and I'm back with another process video for you and again I'm using papers from that um, Goldie collection from Seven Paper and I absolutely love this really bright abstract kind of floral design um, yeah, I, I, as soon as I saw it I was like I want to use it as a background um, so yeah, I just went with it even though I didn't go into photos or the theme at all I just kind of went with it so I've mounted it on um, some of the cut apart um, pieces, they were very abstract kind of like artsy pieces um, and I just kind of decided to use the black and white just to make everything pop and I'm going to be mounting this um, layout on that dark grey so I've used that again around the photo and this is a photo of me and my boyfriend taken at Christmas um, and it's just a funny photo of him looking at me because I'm taking hundreds of photos <laughs> um, so I pulled out a doily from my stash. Um, I used to use doilies all the time. When I first started YouTube, um, it was kind of a big thing that if I didn't make a layout with a doily. Um, and I kind, of, I kind of just like, I put them all in one place and then never kind of used to use them. So I've pulled them out and I'm going to make an effort to use them on more and more layouts because I do just like them as a layering piece. So that's one of my, again, my things I want to do for 2016 is to use my stash up. And I have a massive stash of doilies. So I'm going to tell them. That one, I believe, was sent to me by Kat um, last year sometime. It's a really nice bright red one. Um, and it's it's what I call a crafting doily rather than actually a kind of dinnerware doily. Um, so again, I'm using lots of those Heidi Swap bits and pieces um, from the die cut pack that came with this kit. And I'm using all the stars because I just like them. Um, there's vellum. Um, you know, vellum pieces and then there's also cardstock pieces so I'm just going to be using those <coughs> excuse me, to layer up I'm just building up roughly where I want my clusters um, I've said I've got these um, bits left over from the Wonderlust collection so I'm going to be using them I'm also going to be pulling out those tags um, those labels and those frames from Pink Fresh Studio Christmas collection and use them as well so now I know vaguely where everything's going to be going, I'm going to start um, on my background um, treatment as such. And what I decide to do is to just use a little bit of white on the background um, just to kind of add a little bit of texture and also to just take out some of that brightness. Just a little bit, um, not too much, but just to add a little bit of um, interest. I didn't have any water at my desk and I really couldn't be bothered to go and get any, so I'm just squeezing a little bit of this white, um, it's kind of more of a modelling paste than acrylic paint, I don't know where, and I don't know where my gesso has gone. So I just put that down, and again I kind of quite like the scratchiness of it and how it looks putting it on. And then I'm just taking this um, stencil from Stamping Up and the Marmalade spice marmalade ink from Tim Holtz and I'm just using my dobber to just put that through again just to create a little bit of interest in the background most of that's going to be covered up as always I need to just learn to do where I think it needs to go and then out a little bit more just adding some mist over the top I've just added a little bit of teal now I'm going to be adding some bright pink on there as well and again this shows up more kind of in real life it's kind of getting a bit lost in that well pattern but I like kind of how you can see it with a bit more interest so I'm just adding some black over there as well and I'm going to set that aside to dry and then I'm going to start to build up my layer and I'm quite liking working on this white surface um, I do love my red desk but um, it's just sometimes easier to kind of imagine things on a white surface um, I did do a white background layout the other day I know, shocking, it's not something I normally do um, and I found that a little bit tricky to see against the white but other than that um, but yeah, I'm quite liking that so I'm just kind of, while my other bit's drying um, I decided to start building up my layers and I'm just sticking it down with some washi tape um, and building up different bits and pieces and I sometimes do this, it's not, you know, to just build the cluster up away um, from the main body of the layout so I'm just kind of starting to plan where I want my bits and pieces and I do cut those frames in half um, just to use them over the two different places and I'm just using my Cosmic Shimmer glue there in that little um, bottle with a brush which I, I'm loving and building up my layers 
Um, I really like the die cuts um, in here. I'm kind of I'm happy that I kind of went um, the direction I did with this layout and using up like a lot of those stars and pieces um, because I don't know. I do. I'm still not in love with the vellum stuff. Um, maybe it's because I was with Studio Calico kit subscriptions when you used to get so much vellum um, shapes. It was just ridiculous. Um, I think maybe that kind of spoilt my love for it a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of quite liking using them over here. And I would say in person you can see them much clearer on the layout. I think they maybe get slightly lost against that background on the video. But I'm really happy with how it came out. So <laughs> I've moved that little red piece again for about the third time. And I'm just slotting that behind there. And then I'm just sticking down these different tags. There was lots of different assortments of shapes and tags and things. Um, and I decided to cover up where I could the actual tag part because I didn't really like it. Um, so yeah, and I've just kind of cut bits off. I'm just trying to stick it around, just so I've got some kind of basis for where I'm putting my clusters. <clears throat> and as I said, um, I really like um, this kit, um, and I did try to stick to it. These are the layouts where I was kind of sticking to it and only pulling in a few separate embellishments. Um, after this one, I do go much more um, with just actually using different bits from my stash but I think it's always quite nice when you get a um, your kit, first new kits that you just try and use them and cut into them. Um, I quite like like doing that so and I knew when I saw this piece of paper that I had to use it for a background. So I'm just changing around a few of the placement of the stars and sticking those down and I really like having the vellum overlapping the photo. Again, just sticking those Pink Fresh Studio um, labels down. Um, the only thing with those labels are they like they're glossy. Um, all of them die cuts like that glossy kind of paper, which is really hard to write and stamp on. Keep saying I need to get stays on ink. It's something that I am going to buy this year because I don't have stays on. I actually used archival on some of these, and that was fine. But I do need to get myself some stays on ink. Um, just peeling the protective acetate off that. Um, acetate die cut and I'm um, just looking for my quick glue pen that was lost on my desk and I'm just using that to um, scribble the glue on behind where the text is and then you won't see where that's stuck down and I'm so glad that I found those quickie glue pens up in my stash and again I bought them probably about four years ago um, I think I bought a pack of five from QVC um, and because they kind of all have that seal on the end so the ones I hadn't used were perfectly fine so I've just used that to stick down I've just pulled out the other little die cuts um, from my stash and just kind of going through and seeing if I can add any of those to it. I pull out this which is from the chipboard sheet that um, Emma sent me and oh I can't for the life of me think of the name of the collection. It was the crepe paper, oh it's the craft based one, I can't remember what it was called. Um, I've got very few left now. Um, but I love that one that says you and me and it kind of again that blue um, on that rosette kind of it picks up the blue flowers in the background so I really love how that looks I did just move that little word strip um, but uh, yeah I'm really I'm slowly getting through that and I um, thanks to Emma sending me that and the kiss kiss one I have kind of got more into using chipboard um, sheets. They are more expensive um, than the normal die cut packs but I do kind of quite like them. So uh, there was then this slide frame which had that blue on again, the same blue. So I've just pulled that up and I've just stuck that behind there and then this little word says love and as this is a very love themed layout um, you know and it's it's a kind of soppy layout, it doesn't really have much meaning. Um, I did include this photo within my December daily. This is one that will be going in my in my Project Life album for December. Um, but yeah, it doesn't really have much meaning, it's just a nice photo of me and my boyfriend. So I pulled out these Maggie Home stickers. This is one of the previous kits that I had, um, I hadn't really used any of it, so I just pulled those stickers out and stuck those down. You're going to use that love. It You can see it more in person. It kind of like, because it's that marble effect, you can't really see it on here. But I kind of like the repetition of the word love as well. That's something they often do, repeating the same word um, on a sheet. 
Um, I'm just stamping, I'm using my star punch here just to see if I wanted to put um, any stars on those vellum pieces but I didn't really like how it looked. I'm then pulling out some of the washi tape from the um, Goldie collection and again that's the different strips that you get and I'm just placing it on three different parts of the layout. And again I, I just like using that kind of um, cohesive approach between it and so just having it in three places just kind of draws the eye in. As I said I'm, it's something I'm going to probably use more of those pieces. So these are the Heidi Swap puffy stickers that came um, in that Wonderlust collection um, and I wanted to use some of those up so I end up just cutting the speech bubble a bit off and again using them as just layering elements. It's something that they, I just wanted to use them up. Um, they don't necessarily go brilliantly on this layout but I just wanted to use them up. Um, and that's, I'm fine with that. <laughs> I'm fine with just using them up for the sake of using them up. That's okay with me. So just trying to work out how I can stick that one down and not kind of lose the wording. Um, but I do manage it in the end. And again, just created a triangle of those. And again, I like how it works. Thought I'd have added some sequins on here and some gems. Um... <laughs> didn't really go with that. It's one of those things that I just kind of every so often I'll pull something out and go yeah I'll do that, no I won't, yeah I will. Um, but I kind of quite like how things look. And then I pulled out these, again these were old Studio Calico. And I'm just using a few of the smaller hearts. So that was kind of quite a mixed layout for me. Um, it's not my favourite layout I've ever made but I love the photo, I love a lot of the elements on it, I love that background paper, I probably didn't do it justice on using it on this layout, um, but I like it, it's good to sometimes do an eclectic crazy layout, I think sometimes we just need to do that. <laughs> um, I did think I need to stick something down to do a little bit of journaling um, on, but I couldn't find something I liked, so I decided to just not bother, <laughs> and not everything has journaling, as I said I'd put it in my um, December daily, so that's fine. So I've just mount that down and that does make it look a bit better because it just contains all that craziness as well. So I'm just going to add a little bit more mist and that is this layout done. So I want to thank everyone for watching my recent videos. I really appreciate all your support and your love and I will see you all again very very soon. Bye!